guys, Carla from Adventures of Enders. I'm here today with Art. Hi. I'm having a little bit of coffee. He's drinking his Mountain Dew as usual. I do. I do, I do, I do. He's got the dew. So today we are going to talk about avocados for my new recipe coming out, avocado fries in the air fryer. So um, he was over the day we were doing it and we couldn't figure out how to explain to you how to cut the avocado for the fries. So here we are today. Carla's Kitchen, Adventure of a Nurse. Imagine that. I am privileged and honored to be here. Long, good, long time friends. Uh, excited to uh, be with you all today and thanks for joining us. So uh, grab your food beverage of choice, sit down, relax, and uh, let's talk avocado. So before we decided to do the shoot today, uh, I went to the store and rummaged through the avocados that they had. And it was an interesting experience because the avocados were of different variances and most of them were overripe. Every time I kept touching them, they were very mushy and soft. And so it was tough to find the avocado for today's shoe. So I went with what was best available. And I think that's important because you could run to the store right now and go buy avocados and have the same experience that I just right. had. So with that being said, uh, I went with an avocado. Again, color really doesn't play much role in it. Uh, to me, it seemed like if it was a darker avocado, it was more on the softer right. side. Uh, I was looking for something that had that really deep green, uh, almost like a pine green, even maybe a shade a little lighter, but you're going to see some dark overlay with it as well. So look for some of that really deep shade of green uh, as a sign of it might be the one for you. And then pick it up and squeeze it, and it should be firm. It should give a little bit, but not give. Right. If it gives, it's not the one for you. That thing is past its, its prime time. But uh, if it gives a little bit, then I think that's the one that you want to grab to bring home. And uh, so as we were doing the recipe for the avocado fries the other day, uh, we said um, we grab the avocado and uh, we're going to take it and we're going to cut it in half. And so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take the a standard paring knife and I'm going to put it into the side. And I'm just going to pierce through the skin, work my way towards the stem. There's a, a, a I said stem, but it's really a big seed that's in the center. It's like a, a, a bigger grape with a, a much bigger seed. And that seed will allow you to guide your, your knife around the outside of the avocado. And again, I think the, the ripeness of the avocado is important too because if this was a softer avocado, the knife would go through a lot quicker and it would be tough for me to, to hold, tougher for me to hold on to. Right. So and, given that... You know, given even that, if it wasn't ripe enough, it, it would be harder to even. It would be that much harder it would be to harder cut through, to, exactly, and probably yeah. would be a little more hazardous. Right. So once I've made my cut all the way around the avocado, then I'm going to open it up, and there's that magic seed we were talking about, which, yes, avocado is a fruit. Sometimes eating guacamole, you wouldn't think as avocado is a fruit. It's just one of those mysterious items that is a fruit by nature because of the what's inside. And right. obviously what's inside is responsible for it being here. So I'm trying to take this one out with my hand, oh, and as you can see, that right came out. Sometimes it could be a little temperamental. I had noticed by cutting these, some of them might be a little wetter inside, and the seed will be stuck. There's kind of like a little vacuum seal in there. So you might have to uh, right. use something else to take it out. You could take your paring knife and kind of work around the outside, or you could take the spoon and try to scoop it out. Either way, the more delicate you are, the more the integrity of the avocado that you preserve as a whole as we get ready to cut it into a fry. Now, as Carla mentioned, doing a case study, in this specific case, making the avocado fries, we wanted to make sure that they had a thickness to them that would hold up through the cooking right. process and have some characteristics and personality once the, yes. the finished product comes out of the air fryer. So we came up with the conclusion that the best way to take the avocado, because they're all pretty much similar in size. When you see them in the store, they're all the same right. size. So it's not like you're, you're buying watermelons and they're various sizes and shapes. They're pretty standard. So what we came up with is, is cutting an avocado into three slices per fry. So out of this avocado, we'll get six fries total. And what you're going to do is, is by that case, then you're going to make two slits into the avocado. And you're kind of eyeing it out. Uh, you don't want to be in the center. For my first cut, I'll be a little off-center in order to create the outside fry and the center fry. And then I'll have the kind same... Kind of like steak fries, when you have those great big steak fries. Right. And then I'll make my second incision on the right side uh, with the same thickness on each edge to come up with somewhat of a consistent fry uh, thickness as we pull them out. And then I'll take a teaspoon, uh, tablespoon, I'm sorry, and I'm going to work the outside. And I'm kind of working my way in, but not all the way to the center because 
you're going to scoop it out at the end, but as I work my way around the avocado, I'm letting the spoon do the work and just following along with the other side in my hand, Very and it cool. kind of just popped right out, just like that, and it's ready to go. Now, I could make these a little smaller if I'd like, and through, again, trial and error, came to the conclusion that if you want to cut them a little skinnier, you'd best do it from the outside going in, because if you cut from the inside out, it kind of bends against the avocado, and it sometimes breaks and falls in half. And I can give you an example of that if you took that here and did it, but because it's so soft, it's not like an apple. By doing that, sometimes it could split down the middle. Right. But as if, like that there, that's a perfect example of what's going to happen if you don't cut from the outside. But I did that on purpose just to show you, because I went against the remedy of our fry recipe, which is cutting it in thirds. Right. So I just wanted you to see that. So now here's the finished one to get ready for the air fryer. Here's my first cut. Here's my second cut. Again, the skin is uh, protecting my hand from the knife. You'd really have to press down severely hard to puncture through that skin, so you don't have to worry about the knife biting through the avocado skin into your hand. I'm working that spoon all the way around. Taking my time. If you rush, you will end up breaking it, so be patient. All good things come to those with patience. And these we're going to leave intact. Look at that. Perfect. And they are ready for the next step of the recipe. Very good. Okay. All right. If you found this video informative, go ahead and like it and share it and subscribe to us because we're going to be doing a whole bunch more. And if you have any ideas of things you want to see, just go ahead and leave it right in the comments below. Absolutely. And most importantly, if you like this one, we hope that you will follow. Right. Exactly. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thanks Bye. for hanging out. Have a good day.